to go. Here's a great shot from our player currently in second. This shot from the first cut of rough. Anywhere up on that dance floor would be nice. That's an absolute ripper. What a shot. And this one for back-to-back -back birdies. It's on a great line. Mark it down. That's six birdies today. Two in a row there, Luke, getting their groove on. Currently at minus five now for the event. Always like to see your name moving up the leaderboard, never a bad thing. Let's see what happens here at the 11th hole. This looks to be a fairway seeker to me. Luke, unfortunately, that got a horrible kick. Ended up in the rough. John, talk to us. What do you got for us? Well, I'm following Kevin Kisner at the moment. He's on the 12. And here we are with the third shot. Let's get back to it, shall we? Second shot here on the 11th. Well, this one's right at the pin. A seven-footer right here. Their short game has been very impressive. They've kept this player inside the top ten all day long because of it. Oh, what a round this is. Seven birdies today, and that will take him to six under. Still in the lead now after that hole. The lead is getting bigger and bigger. Let's see what happens here at the 12th. Wow, he let the big dog eat there, didn't he? Coming off a hat-trick of birdies. That's great momentum. Oh, what a gorgeous-looking shot that is, Rich. A wonderful shot and a birdie opportunity coming up at the 12th. Almost a gimme birdie there, Luke. Fantastic. Well, what a performance. Eight birdies on the card. And that will take him to seven under. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. And they'd be feeling buoyed with confidence after that birdie. Here's a good chance to maintain the momentum.
Well, this is a long way from downtown, but you're closer. John, what's he got in front of him? And from here, they're looking at about a 28-foot putt. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. Yeah, it's just about three feet away. Job done. Let's head to the next. And after that hole, leading Matt Kuchip by a shot. It's time to tee off here at the 14th hole. That one was fired out of a cannon. He may be thinking about going for the green here. Well, this person displays the power game in pure fashion there. Two big hits there, knocking it on this par five and two. Well, let's catch up with this play just a moment ago. Bryson DeChambeau with a fantastic shot. They've hold it. Fifteen feet to the cup. Just didn't drop. What an opportunity to make a birdie. And another one goes. And with it, an increase of his lead. And with that, he'll move to eight under par. Awesome play. And now that finds him in first place. We have a par four on this one. Well, we're hearing some excitement elsewhere on the course. Let's have a look at Kevin Kisner from just a short time ago. Oh, that's a beauty. How about holding that one? Let's return to live play now. Playing from around 150 yards here. Going with the seven. Great looking shot, this. <laughs> Getting ready to play their third. Oh, I thought that one was going in. Oh, that's the hands of a surgeon. Lovely touch. Yes, very smooth tempo there on that chip. 
And the putt drops now at eight under, heading down the stretch. And anything can happen down the stretch. Let's see what takes place. And after that hole, leading Matt Kuchar by a couple of shots. Three holes remaining, folks. Hang on to your hats. This is going to be a wild and woolly finish. And we've arrived at a par three. Only one other place I can think of, and that is the sixth at Riviera. A larger green than the sixth, but bunkers galore. Watch out for the one right in the middle. Has got this thing dialed in here, looking good. Well, that certainly makes putting a lot easier when you can hit a shot like that. And lining up the birdie putt here. Oh, just missed. And this putt coming up for his par. And that putt will drop. Well done. And after that hole, you've built a two-stroke advantage over Matt Kuchar. Two holes to go, Luke. Can they hang on? Let's find out. As we get down the stretch here at TPC San Antonio, there's a number of options that can be taken. This 17th's a fascinating hole. Luke, if it's playing downwind, a driver is a must. If it's back into the wind, take out the iron for safety. Let's have a look at Patrick Cantlay. John, have you got a read on this one? Well, from where I am, it looks around 27 feet, I'd say. That'll help your scorecard. Well hold. Time for the second shot at the 17th. went in. Oh, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. Ouch, that hurts. He's got a par putt here. Let's see if he can make it. And the putt drops, and we're moving on. And after that hole, leading Matt Kuchar by a couple of shots. Well, while the closing hole at TPC San Antonio can be reached in too rich, it's all set up by the tee shot. Tee shot must find the fairway. If not, you have water hazards left and bunkers right that will gobble up that second shot if you're slightly out of position. Oh, what a wonderful play. Leading with intent. Well, that was absolutely met. Great strike. The interesting choice of the driver here. Oh, wouldn't this be a massive shot to make? Out of the bunker to win it all. Star State is one hurt joy. Congratulations to our Valero Texas Open winner. I got to say, this was a tough, a hard-earned victory. The conditions out there this week were brutal all around. And they know it. And I got to say that I, I'm a little jealous right now, Luke, because the champion gets a nice pair of boots and a beautiful, sexy pair of boots they are. A little jealous, but, you know, I got a bunch of pair of my own.